Dalai Lama took a break today from his Seeds of Compassion agenda to address the political controversy that continues to follow him, the increasing violence in Tibet. It was a subject that he was hoping to avoid during his trip here to Seattle. Cairo 7's Audra Schrader is live in Seattle with details. Audra? Chris, the subject of China and Tibet has been off the table so far during the Dalai Lama's visit. His singular purpose while in Seattle has been to promote compassion, but His Holiness says it became clear he couldn't avoid discussing the conflict. The Dalai Lama is in Seattle to talk about compassion, but when he entered a press conference at a downtown Seattle hotel this morning, the talk was mostly about conflict between the Chinese government and the Tibetan people. Both sides have one mantra to repeat, to recite. Just yesterday, China's president accused the Dalai Lama of instigating violence in recent protests and of trying to sabotage the Olympic Games. To that, His Holiness says the accusations are totally wrong. I made very clear, right from the beginning, we support Olympic Games. The exiled Tibetan leader says there has been some progress in talks with the Chinese, but that his people cannot make any more concessions. He also called on the Chinese to stop their aggression and to allow the world to see what is really going on in his former homeland. And then must allow the international sort of media people and including tourists, let them see what's the reality. The Dalai Lama called the press conference to address the increasing violence over Tibet, but doesn't want it to overshadow his Seeds of Compassion mission. Later in the morning, he joined a panel discussion at the Seattle Center and admits even His Holiness could use a little compassion from the rest of the world. Please don't forget about us. Whatever way, help us. And we were in attendance at the Dalai Lama's uh, afternoon event, and we'll bring you details of it tonight at 6. For now, reporting live in Seattle, Audra Schrader, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News.